It's time to spill the beans. We're filming Aaron Guilfoy's wedding. Let's go! Here's $40,000 for your wedding. Where's all this? What the fuck? I love it. I want to put on my wedding dress. For those of you seeing this in your feed and thinking, ah, that guy looks kind of familiar, uh, it's probably Sophia and Tyler's wedding, uh, and it's fine that you haven't watched any of our stuff since then. I'm not bitter. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Dave with Amari Productions, and if this is your first time here, welcome. A little bit of a different video this week. Uh, we almost didn't have a video this week because we've been so busy with a new hire, redoing our website, redoing our client management system, and securing new office space. I just got the keys for this place uh, 10 minutes ago, so we have a lot of work to do, like maybe getting rid of whatever the heck that ugly green trim wall is and getting all this brown uh, painted back to a nice clean white. There, there's a lot. There's a lot we need to do, but consider this uh, before, uh, and I'll definitely, definitely show you guys what it looks like after we're done. So even though today is another swamped day, uh, I wanted to find some time to film this vlog so that A, we could uh, share the big news with you, finally let that cat out of the bag, uh, but B, I could also tell you a little bit about how this came to be, um, and also bring you behind the scenes on the pre-production process of how we prepare for a wedding like this. So first off, uh, who are we? What do we do? We are very much about finding and capturing those minute human interactions and moments and inflections and emotions that combine to tell not just the story of your day, but your larger love story. A great example of that would be this compilation film that I cut a couple years ago. Uh, I'll link to that here in one of these iCards. I never know which side to point to. I'll just, I'll just, I'll point to both sides. I'll also just play the first minute of it for you here. Alicia Aaron Burgoon. We made it. Mm -hmm. Todd Matthew, today you become my husband, and so begins the greatest chapter of our lives. I've been thinking about this moment for eight years. Eight long years. <laughs> for you? Okay, I thought I'd have enough time to film this vlog, but this is still a very young YouTube channel and I am not good at this. So this has taken way too long and now I need to shut down this office and get on the road where we will finish up this vlog and give you that backstory and some of my, uh, my early thoughts. All right, one second. Okay, whoa, lens flared. Okay, wait, I need to, I need to film though. Did you not? Now, how did this happen? How did we book the wedding of Aaron and TJ? Especially since we've only been on this platform for a couple of months. Unsurprisingly, it starts with the wedding of Sophia and Tyler. Uh, we booked Sophia and Tyler early last year, and at the time of booking it, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about the YouTube platform, the, the creator community on this platform. Uh, when we started our business in 2011, we chose Vimeo to host our videos, and I really never looked back and never really spent any time exploring YouTube. To my great loss, let me be very clear, I am the idiot in that story. So as we got closer to Sophia and Tyler's wedding and we started talking with them about the vlog that they wanted to do and I started researching the platform, that's when I realized like, oh my God, 
like this is where I'm meant to be like this is I love this like I love what I'm seeing people do I have so many ideas for how I can bring my unique uh, creative angle and my uh, expertise in uh, filmmaking and in the wedding industry to this platform so I got really excited got fired up we started a channel right before Sophia and Tyler's wedding and then their wedding went live and we posted our BTS vlog of that wedding and oh my god some things happened guys one of the things that happened was about a week after we posted it I'm walking out the door and my wife who helps me manage our Amari Instagram comes running over and she goes David you got a DM on Instagram she has a blue check mark so I was like what she's like she's getting married and she wants you to do her wedding and I was like what <laughs> And again, because I've only been on this platform for a couple of months, I didn't, like, I had no, I, I had no idea. I was just like, who, who is this person? Like, what does she do? So I start diving in to Aaron's stuff. I start diving into Carly and Aaron's channel. And then I start diving into the full-blown vlog squad et al. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be filming a wedding. Uh, and, and they're gonna be right here and here, uh, and here and here with their cameras. And uh, that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, so we started DMing, we started emailing. Uh, we eventually set up a coffee shop date uh, with Aaron and TJ and it was amazing. It was so, like I said this after Sophia and Tyler's wedding, but again, like two people who are just so genuine and real and down to earth and just like awesome humans. Usually in those meetings, uh, I'm getting, I'm fielding a lot of questions and, it, and it's me divulging information and expertise and knowledge, but it was so cool to sit and chat with TJ and Aaron and talk a little bit about wedding stuff and be able to give them some advice, give them some insight and then talk a little bit about YouTube stuff and glean some insight and knowledge from them. And Aaron was so cool. She kept saying like over and over, like any questions you have, like anything, let me know. Like I'm, I'm happy to help which obviously she does not have to do that. So yeah, I, I just, I I freaking love them. Uh, TJ, like at one point, after we'd probably been there for over an hour, like TJ's like, I, I'm sorry, I gotta I gotta run to my next meeting. And so I'm thinking, oh yeah, 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 no, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna hold you guys anymore. Like, we'll start packing up. So I like, start to pack up, but Aaron's like, no, I, I can stay. I can stay and chat. And so we just keep chatting. And I remember, like, I specifically remember there were several times as we were talking that I just like got this thing in my head of like, Oh, I'm probably I'm probably keeping her too long. She probably I should start like making motions to leave so that she can get out of here. And, and then we would just like dive back into another wedding topic or YouTube topic. I honestly think we sat there for like two and a half hours uh, before finally I was like, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> oh, and then uh, that same day that we had that coffee date, we launched this project called The Wedding Collaboration where we are trying to find a couple suffering hardship that they can't have the wedding that their story deserves and give them an entire wedding free of charge. I'll give you a little sample of the, the chapter one video here and then I'll tell you what Erin said after she watched that. this amazing coffee date with Erin. I already feel like she's given me so much more value than, than I could ever give her. She reaches back out to me and says, hey, I saw your film, I saw what you're doing. I was given a dress that I'm not gonna wear and I don't know if it would fit the couple that you end up picking, but I would love to donate it. I would love to talk about this on my channels. I'd love to help out in any way I can. And like, again, like that is just the most tangible example of something that Erin does not have to do. Right, like she is loved by her audience. She, she, everyone knows she's a good person. She doesn't have to prove it. She doesn't have to do this. But she saw that, she reached out to me in private. She didn't ask me to, to blast it. She didn't ask for recognition or anything. Like, 
for just being a good person. I'm so excited, so excited for her wedding, for her and TJ to just have the best day of their life and to be there to help capture and document it and tell that story. And speaking of telling that story, here is the other amazing, amazing, amazing thing from this wedding that I'm so excited about. So here's the thing. Uh, as you can see, I, I, I'm getting I'm getting pretty excited, and uh, we still have at least like 10, 10 to 15 minutes to go. So I'm gonna split that into another video. I'll, I'll get it out in a couple of days, uh, and in that video, we'll talk more about exactly what we're doing for TJ and Aaron's wedding, and some of that uh, pre-production, behind the scenes, kind of what's going into preparing for this wedding. All right, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you know when I post part two. Give this film a like, join us in the comments below. What about their wedding are you most excited for? Oh, also, how much better does the white look, right? I'll show you more of the office later as we get it set up, but know that uh, we're only two days in and we're already about 20 games of ping pong in. Um, I am not, I'm not faring well so far.